Hypertension is not a disease. Hypertension is really a manifestation of an abnormal vascular system. The arteries are functionally and structurally abnormal. So we have to get away from the concept that we're treating this sphygmomanometer, that we're treating a number. We've got to get back to the basics of what is the true underlying physiology of hypertension? What sets off the response of an abnormal artery to cause a response in the systemic circuit that we call hypertension or elevated blood pressure. So if we go back to the basics, we look at the arterial structure and arterial function in a very different format. And the, the relationship is what's coming in to the arterial system, what are the infinite insults that come into the artery, and it responds in three ways. There's only three finite responses to the arterial system. So what are they? One is inflammation, two is oxidative stress, and three is autoimmune dysfunction of the arterial system. No matter what the incoming insult happens to be, whether it's chemical abnormalities, toxins, pesticides, blood sugar, lipids, or anything else you can conjure up that is considered a biochemical or microbial or some sort of abnormality that would be an infinite environmental insult. When that comes into the artery, it can only respond in those three ways. So on the arterial wall, there are receptors. And those receptors basically pattern recognize what's coming in. Thus, they're called pattern recognition receptors. They have other fancy names like toll-like receptor, uh, nod receptor, and calveoli. And these receptors look at what's coming in, and they decide whether it's friend or whether it's a foe. If it decides that it's friendly, then the response will not be abnormal. It will basically be, you know, blood pressure, not going to go up, not going to respond to that insult in an abnormal way. But if that insult happens to be a foreign compound, the arterial wall senses that. And what it says is, I have to respond to this in an acute setting. If you keep insulting the arterial wall with that same insult, then it becomes a chronic dysregulated response.